Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Militia. I, uh... I turned the sound on this time, so in addition to the music, we should hear some, like, clicking stuff. Besides just my mouse, which is being picked up because I don't know how to get it to use a good mic. Um, okay, so, and this is a, like, real game, not a placement match. We're at difficulty 18, I guess? And we have five turns, but it gives you bonus turns when you finish a level, and we have to finish three levels. That's the summary of what's happening. Already, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. This guy doesn't seem to have anything very useful to do. Where is he supposed to go? Everywhere, is it? Over here and kill this guy? No, he gets shot by this. Here and kill that guy might be the best I can come up with. Or here and kill you? I'm not useful. I don't know, these guys spread, maybe it would be nice to stop that. Uh, teleporter. Well, not teleporter. Wizard, I think. Um. No, I'm sure there's some stuff we could do here. Although. Well. Maybe we could bounce this guy out of the way? Move here and bounce him to there? Then I'd be free... a little bit freer anyway to act with this, and I could move down here and kill the guard, the barbarian, I don't know what... Um... The mage, presumably, is the one who's going to be doing all the good stuff, if I can figure out what that is. Maybe that's moving here and then blowing up this area? That happens to also kill this guy if I move him. But I don't get this, but I do still get four kills with that action, right? I think that's pretty okay. Oh, shit. This guy would get me. I didn't actually try the move before. And there's nothing cavalrymen can do about it. Like, there is, yes, we could kill this guy. But, or this guy. But if I do, cavalry. Dead. So, okay, what can the mage do without moving? I guess this might be the best? Or without, without going down here, which... Okay, so we do this. Okay. And I, I think the plan here still has to be just killing this, this guard dude. I don't think we succeeded at killing any of the captains. Maybe I got one. We're not making a lot of progress towards winning. This is decent. I think that's the best the mage is going to get. Unless we teleport something else into this square? No. Which is so okay. And no good ways to enter here. I could jump on this guy and then kill these. I'm then in trouble from all this stuff, of course. So I would need you to teleport here. I guess he could do this square should be safe if I've done that, right? So jump, kill, move here, teleport you here, and then you get to do some more good stuff. Sure. Oh no, that's not safe. This guy's still here. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, we lost someone already. Um, I think it's better to lose the, the wizard than... Cavalry, probably. 
Uh, I guess, okay, he's not dead, right? I can come down here and just swap this guy and see about killing you as the thing to do with my turn. Although that's not so easy. I don't think I can actually do it. Right, jump on this guy to kill him, I guess. Could do that, but obviously I don't want Jump here? Oh, if I'd seen this all coming, I could have had the wizard go here, which was covered by that archer, but I've now killed that archer. So that was how I was supposed to do this. Blow all this up and keep making progress towards the stuff I actually want. This doesn't really accomplish much, does it? Because that's really all this guy can kill anyway, right? Is he kind of like, he can't move here or here safely, so he has to go here, and then the only thing he can kill is that. So I guess the mage should kill this archer or something. Like that? Hey, I need you to move towards me so the mage can reach. Wait, I think I'm dead? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so we lived. I spent too many turns, but... I've got a chance. Alright, Barbarian. Wow. This is a very promising start. Um... So I can, like, kill these two guys, and then jump in here and knife these two imps. Uh, and I've got free reign to do whatever I want with my mage, which looks like this? Oh my god, what a start. Now, that means the warrior doesn't even have to... Barbarian or whatever he is, doesn't even have to kill this guy to keep... Cavalryman safe, actually. Oh yeah, he does. Because this archer is the one I'm not killing. Okay. Yeah, get wrecked, you noob. This floor is way easier than the last one. Yeah, we're we're through it already. Just oh no, this guy is armor. This guy rather is. Uh. No obvious way to fix that. Yeah, I can't kill this guy this turn. I can kill you? Sure. That lets me charge in here and at least get this guy killed. Doesn't kill him. Armored, and now my warrior's dead. Okay. Pretty stupid. Alright, we're getting this guy next turn, I think. Oh, he's armored again. I think just killing this might be the best I can do. But, no. I want to kill this thing, right? So that I can jump in here and take out the guard myself. Okay, 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 we got out of it. And we get a paladin. Boy, you're in 
keep in enemy territory, but we can still jump up here and kill the imp and be safe. Don't make progress on these guys, but that's okay. I'll get there eventually. Um, it looks promising to attack here. Paladin won't be able to give you another move if you do that. What if you moved closer? Could you... Oh, archer. Okay. Oh, but I'm killing that archer here, right? Aren't I? Yeah, so that archer's fine. If I moved here... I could kill, like, these guys? Okay, he can reach that, but, like, the problem is... I still can't actually double activate the mage if I do this. Which, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but that's what you'd like the paladin to be doing in general. So, in that case, I think I'll just kill these two. Ah! An attack here means that my cavalryman doesn't have to kill this guy, because he can just jump here and be safe, so he can kill a captain instead. Yeah, this is nice. And then you just need to kill something. Actually, I could just run over here and attack nothing to reactivate the mage if I wanted. Mage has a better turn than you do anyway, right? All right, this is a pretty decent hop here. Turn around and kill this guy. You guys are so far in the corner. Right. Anyway, so this is, is... Remember, a ranked match is just three floors. So I have five turns to work all this out. And then I'll have, like, won the match. Or lost it, as the case may be. Maybe just kill both of these guys. Yeah, that seems good. Then I can get reactivated still by the Paladin while doing something useful. And I think rather than killing anything, I'm just gonna charge towards the front lines over here. This actually looks best for you, right? And no one's gonna hurt you there unless we kill this guy, which I'll be careful not to, since I can't, basically. Um, and then something like this to clear up the area. And I think I should reactivate you with the Paladin, but where do I want you to go? Down to kill these two, maybe? Actually, I could kill you. Pretty cool. Ugh, this guy got the spread. But I guess I can just jump in and kill all of them, so I don't mind too much. Yeah, and then the mage can finish everything with the paladin's help, right? Okay, good work. The mage did most of the- well, the cavalry was okay. And the paladin was activating the mage. Alright, we have time for another. Uh, that The music cut out there because I tabbed away a bit to check my timer. Yeah, good. Play another. Wait, was I not rank 18? I don't quite understand the difference between... Are these ranks, or... Is it, like, the experience system that Solar Settlers had, which I kind of hate? I don't know. I guess they're ranks, it just takes more than one win to climb a rank, unlike in Solar Settlers. Okay.
I mean, the Axe Man has a pretty good start, which is just like kill these guys, probably. Or these two. But this guy usually is pretty easy to deal with, and I don't accidentally get killed by him very often. These imps, I make mistakes. Uh, pretty crowded up here. So, a nice target for the mage, but there's like this guard here. So kill these two. Teleporting is that cool. Um Yeah, maybe I'll just kill a couple guys up here to make some progress. And kill these two. And just axe this and it's already looking a lot less crowded. I need to get up closer to the top of the map eventually, but I mean, Teleporter does that pretty fast. Um, this is a really nice Teleporter attack, if I can get- or Mage attack. If I can A, get the Mage out of there by teleporting him, which should be- well, I think there should be safe space up here somewhere. Like, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, if you had to, you could run here and bop this guy. As long as we don't activate this archer. So, yeah, what I'm thinking is a mage shot here. But first, put the warrior here to kill these guys. Then send the mage here and just have him run to the only safe spot. Well, I guess these two are both safe, actually. No, this one's being shot at by the warrior, or by the archer, so he runs here and kills that guy. This all seems fine. Okay, he has to move to, I don't know, here? Here? Let's be a little bit further away from the corner, just safe. Be more flexible, I guess. In the corner, you're the most restricted about where you can go next. Sort of what I'm thinking about here. I don't know if that's the right thing to be thinking about. But... Okay, so... All I have to do is have the mage kill this guy. Then I can teleport the imp down to where the warrior can kill him. Actually, I can teleport him anyway. They're not, they're not immune from teleporting. They're just immune from being killed. So, go away. Kind of hate you. I mean, I can I can just teleport him. He dies. I'd like to get better value than that. I mean, this is a pretty nice spot to use a mage, isn't it? Even though it doesn't kill the archer. And if I'm going to do that, teleporting this guy away first does accomplish something, because it does kill the archer. Oh, hang on. Yeah, killing the archer is really important, because otherwise he shoots me. Because this guy won't be in the way anymore. Okay, so let's let's just do that. Protect stuff down here, but I don't really care about that. Oh, no, it doesn't, because he dies, right? Oh, the beautiful mage shot. This is what you love to see. Get iced. Oh, you're in fire now, so I don't want to kill these two. Okay, I guess I just... no? Just get out of the way and kill nothing? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Okay, sorry, warrior. Maybe I could have done better.
Now, coming down here is not so great because this guy won't die. Um, but I do have this shot. Looks pretty good. And, uh... Can't go here because of this archer. I could move the archer to here just to let my warrior do something. It would be nice if I could get a mage shot landing here. If I teleported the mage, he would wind up over there, which is not a safe place. Oh, I can't move this archer. Uh, oh yeah, I can. Mm, no, there's... Mm. The only place I could go that looks safe-ish, where I could still target the archer, would be here. But this guy's a problem, and this guy's a problem. And even if the mage could deal with one of them, I can't deal with both. Also, the mage is offline, right? So... I guess I just keep running away? Mm, hang on. The teleporter is probably going to teleport you, so you should decide where you end up based on where you want to be teleported to. I guess here is maybe best? Because then you can turn around and get this archer. No, you can't. I mean, this would work, but you can't go there. This is the close, like, the most distance I go. What about here? Right. Here is a problem because, well, it's not bad. Actually, this might be okay, because then I can come up and over and kill these two. Okay. Oh no, there's no direction I can attack without killing my friends here. Huh. <laughs> and you do have to attack, it's not optional. I'm perfectly cornered, how funny. Uh, okay, get out of the way, I guess. If I do that and teleport you, is it okay? No? Can't teleport you there because there's nowhere safe for you to go. Here is okay. I guess that's what we I hate these archers. This whole left side of the field is completely inhospitable. You know, you can do something like this and just kill this guy. Um, it does sort of leave your teleporter in a quandary. I guess he could just walk himself to here and teleport out. Sure. While well, kill these two. But not like that. Where did I say I wanted to get to? Somewhere in here? I could also get to here, swapping with this guy. That, that's not bad, actually. Zoop. There you go. Alright, the mage can finally take care of all these stupid archers. We just have to get to this guy? Looks like the mage has that handled, eh? Wow, the warrior is really penned in there. I've, I've never seen units spawn in unable to move that I can recall. 
I believe it is guaranteed that no one is attacking your initial position on turn one. I've never seen an exception to that. Um, I don't know if it's guaranteed that you have a safe first move, but at any rate, pretty much the only thing the warrior can do would be kill these two, right? Maybe if I teleported him. Else? I don't see anything wrong with killing these two before they go either way. Um. Mage kind of wants to do this. For which this guy's a problem, but we can teleport him away and just kill him. Or we could reactivate the mage and move him again, I suppose. I don't think he really wants to move again, though. He just wants to do this. Oh no, okay, you're aiming at me. Um, fine, get out of the way. A lot of new dudes. I mean, I can just kill these... Mm, I have to move. I can kill these two, though. Like this. Seems reasonable. Okay, there's no way I could teleport him after doing that, which I guess is fine. So I'll just do his move in isolation, then. It'd be nice to get a mage to shoot, like, here, but he can't get far enough away. If he stood still, he could, like, shoot this, but that's really... Well, actually, he could just be teleported after that, right? Where would he go? Actually, you could kill these people if you moved. This. That also gets two enemies, but it gets a captain as well. So, I think putting you here is fine. Come up, kill this. Move, and then just... Oh, I would like to get there. Maybe I should... I mean, this is the move I had planned, and it's fine. But as soon as I got here, I was like, wait a minute, this would be a nice square to target. Can't really. I could by not moving, but I obviously die, so that's not great. in here, isn't it? I guess I need to kill this archer with my warrior so that I can run here to safety. There's not really anywhere else to go. Here, I guess, and accomplish nothing. But I thought it would be nice to kill this guy. Not really any very good teleporting to I mean, I don't know, I guess I could just kill these two. All right, things have eased up now. Bonk, bonk. There you go, two levels. We could squeeze in one more. These are just like 15 minutes, nice little popcorn game. Mm, yeah, 
Look, I want to put the warrior here and kill these guys, but then you get him. And if I, like, move here and kill you, or even here and kill you, like, this guy shoots me. Here and kill you, this guy gets me. Not very pleasant in this area. I guess I could move here and kill these two. You know... Mage is standing in a rather convenient location. What if I just killed, like, these dudes? And then I got teleported into here. Then, the warrior could kill this guy, and the mage could kill the archer. Couldn't he? You were here? No. Couldn't. You guys are too much of a problem. Oh, also, this is a problem if you get. So, never. Can't teleport to kill these guys. Okay, I mean, maybe killing these two is just the best I can do. And likewise, having you clear out some of the stuff in your starting area. Kind of hate it. Can't frag any of these guys, huh? I moved the teleporter. If I teleported the teleporter, you don't get much for that, but it is a way like for him to move quite far. Here. That actually seems kind of good. Since you can't kill anything. This is just a nice wide open area of the map where he's going to be in less danger. And he's just as good far away from things as he is close up to them in a sense, right? So I don't think he was any more useful over here. Ugh, just kill all this? I hate it. Uh, then I could teleport the warrior up there and kill this guy? Mage is... he's having a field day. No problems there. I wonder if he could do anything if I teleported him. He could move to like here and... Not accomplish much. Or maybe actually run here and just bop this guy with his staff. Okay. Kind of running short on turns a little bit. I mean, we're doing okay, but it's slow going. Uh, I would sort of like to kill you, right? Oh, both of these? would. This would be a great shot. I just have to commit to teleporting him out, which seems fine. There go, like, all the problems I have. Oh, man, look at that magic mage go. Oh, I got killed by this archer who was opened up by me attacking the guys. Whoops. <laughs> all right, I'm still bad. Uh... 
What the hell am I supposed to do now? I need my other dude back. This mage was great, and now suddenly he's not a mage anymore. Plus, like, you know, having another unit would be nice. Uh... Can't really swap you with anyone important. You... I could swap, like, I could I could run down here and kill you, right? The problem is this guy's gonna shoot me as well. That might just be my best play, is to lose another guy so I can finish the level next turn. How am I ever gonna get to this, right? I think I, if I'm gonna possibly win, it has to be like this. And then charge towards the archer, who I know will not move because he'll be busy shooting, right? I think that's how that works. Maybe they attack and then move, I don't know if that's allowed. But if he doesn't move, we're good. Yeah, I got him. Okay, so we have some coming coming back to do. Okay, go away. Um, but we're not dead. Kind of a shame the paladin's so far away from everybody else, but a uh, start looks like this, and then charge toward this thing to get a dude. I can't get the dude because it's protect- oh, actually this square is safe. Alright, let's see who we get. Cavalry. Practically dead already, but not quite. I have to do this. Just running down here and bopping this guy is pretty good, and we can combine that with a cavalry jump that... Oh, actually, I can just kill this guy with just the cavalry, can't I? Running down here and bopping him is bad also because of this guy. These guys cover so much space. This this whole area and this whole area is all covered by these. Opposite colored bishops are too good. Okay, but so like if I jump here with the cavalry and then kill this guy, it's not really clear how I avoid getting shot by the archer. I think we have to devote a lot of resources to killing off these bishops here. Um, it would look like jumping here and then killing, like... This guy is the biggest problem, right? Because he's the only one... ...controlling what you might call the dark squares, and all the rest are controlling, like, those light squares. If I got rid of him, there would suddenly be a lot of safe spaces. But there's not actually a good specific line I see that works that way. So maybe I run up here, zap this guy. Up here, zap this guy, revitalizing, and then come down here and no, this guy's protected. Come here and kill the archer? Okay, I guess. Uh, and your life just absolutely sucks. I think the only move you have is this. Everywhere else you... No, that doesn't work either. You're just dead. Oh, maybe I needed to... Right, I mean, this is covered... I 
two guys. This is covered by you. This is covered by these two. Oh, the space you're in? No, it's covered by that archer. All right, I'm gonna just kill an archer then. Just be dead again. I don't have enough turns to win, I don't think. How do I get to both sides of the board? I, I think this is game over. I'll see what I can do, of course. But this everything is covered so well. Like, I can't move in this corridor because these guys are covering all four of these squares. These guys are covering like squares. Yeah, this entire column is off limits. This one's no good. I could go here, but this guy's unkillable. I guess... I can't even go here and kill this guy because you're still there. I guess I could... Have the, okay. Sure. Have the paladin take care of that. Or maybe kill this guy and plan to bounce out of there. Here and kill a bunch of these. I gotta kill this guy. This bolt didn't do anything. Great. All right, the bishops are not a problem anymore, but it would take a miracle. That's impossible. I just don't have enough movement to cover all three of these guys in one. If I another miracle. All right. Well. Yeah, I see. So this says what you'll get next win. All right. So, two out of three. It seems like we're at a pretty fair difficulty level where I win more than I lose, but don't always win. I right, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.